We're moving on to 1993-94 Tops. This is the first card we've looked at in this set. And Michael Jordan isn't facing the right way. Um, you know, don't you just want to yell at him, hey, turn around, turn around. We need a better picture. Uh, do you know why this picture is like this? You know why he's facing that way? You could probably think of it. I'm 99% sure I know the reason. Um, if you don't, uh, you're going to have to listen to the rest of the video. It's that simple. Um, 93, 94 tops, though. That's where we are. This kind of felt like a second season of tops cards in a certain way, okay? Because there, after 1981, 82, tops took a 10 year break from basketball. It's a while. They came back in 92, 93. So that set definitely felt like a premiere. So 93, 94, where we are with this card, it kind of feels like the second year in a row from Tops. But 93, 94, it resembled that previous year in many ways. Even the number of cards was the same. Two series, 198 cards each. The order of the cards, too, it was still very chaotic, like it was in 92, 93. The players were scattered everywhere, all over the set. Instead of being grouped by team, something a little more orderly. Um, also, like the previous year, they made factory sets. So you could grab the whole thing at once, you know? Now, there was a, one noticeable difference with the structure of the sets, though. This 93-94 set, the whole set, it started off with a subset. And that subset was a neat idea. I think it could have been developed further. 93-94 tops began with highlights from the previous season. Is that a neat idea? It's like, hey, before we begin this 93-94 set, let's take a quick look back at what happened the previous year. I don't know. I kind of like that idea. Um, that's how 93-94 tops began. Now, Series 2 for 93-94 tops, so 198 cards. Here we are, card number 199. This is the first card of Series 2. First one. So yeah, Series 2 also begins with a subset here. That's the card you're looking at. Michael Jordan reigning playoff MVP. First card of Series 2. Yeah, of course Jordan is the reigning playoff MVP. I mean, he won the Finals MVP in 91, 92, 93. Um, now, this subset, though, it continues the other cards with what Topps calls future playoff MVP. Okay, so it starts with Jordan, the reigning playoff MVP, and then it features a variety of other stars with some strong performances in the playoffs. It calls them future playoff MVP. That's how the subset works. But <clears throat> let's talk about the design of this card. And back to that photograph. So why is Jordan facing the wrong way? Hmm? I'm, I'm only kidding, but, but not really. Yeah, why choose this photograph? So it starts Series 2. You know, is it like he's looking back on Series 1? Maybe looking back on all the teams he defeated in the playoffs, right? Um, maybe it's a sign, you know, he's the reigning playoff MVP, and others are going to be approaching from behind to take over that top spot. Okay, I'm still kidding a little bit. Look, I'm pretty sure this is why. It's because Jordan announced his retirement. This is 93-94. All right, it's that time. So it's actually a very appropriate photo, knowing that, you know, the great Michael Jordan he really would no longer be the playoff MVP. And see, that's why Topps could confidently create this subset of future MVPs. That was the situation. Let's take a look at the back. A little more action in that photo on the back. But look, coincidentally, it's another photo from behind. Now, they might not have been intending that with the back photo. But it is. And on the back of this card, the statistics focus just on the playoffs. So that's actually kind of useful. You have some numbers just for the playoffs there. This is wild. Look at this. 85, 86, 
43.7 points per game. Now, he only got three playoff games that year. But, I mean, talk about a, a, a hint of the future there. That's a number, even if it was just three games. This card also clarifies those um, three straight finals MVPs that I kind of rattled off earlier. Um, he was the only player in history to do that at the time. 91, 92, 93. Three finals MVPs in a row. Shaquille O'Neal did it later, 2000 to 2002. But at the time, he was the only one. So, this is a card, I don't know, I wanted to just spend some time on it with everybody here. It's often overlooked because we, we move through these 90s tops cards really fast, those early 90s tops. But I just think this is a neat card. The beginning of Series 2, with his back turned to us, because we knew that, like I said, using the title, definitely wouldn't be the reigning playoff MVP this year. I think it's neat. I think it's a neat idea. I like this card a lot. Hey, thanks for watching. We'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.